Aseptic technique aims to prevent pathological organisms in sufficient quantities to cause infection from being introduced to susceptible sites by hands, equipment or surfaces. Aseptic technique protects patients during invasive clinical procedures by minimising, as far as is possible, the introduction of pathological microorganisms. This reduces the risk of healthcare infections uh, to patients and is required for all invasive procedures. The use of aseptic technique has been shown to change the behaviour of clinical staff and to reduce the, the risk of infection being introduced to patients. Healthcare associated infections are infections that occur either in a healthcare facility or as a consequence of healthcare associated interventions wherever they occur. They generally occur at the time of introduction of a pathogen into the body of a patient. However, it is still defined as a healthcare associated infection even if the symptoms present in the patient after they have left. Good aseptic technique interrupts the contamination and transfer of organisms from hands, surfaces and equipment to the patient in the context of a procedure. The principles are the same as in the operating theatre, but the focus is on the particular procedure and particular equipment being used at the time of that intervention. There are a couple of key important phrases uh, that are used in the context of aseptic technique. They are key parts and key sites. Key parts must only come into contact with other key parts and or key sites. Key sites include any non-intact skin and insertion or access sites for medical devices connected to the patient. Examples include insertion or access sites of intravenous devices, urinary devices, open wounds or other. Key parts are the sterile components of equipment used during the procedure. Examples include bungs, needle hubs, syringe tips, dressing packs, and many more. Effective hand hygiene is an essential component of aseptic technique. Dependent on the procedure about to be performed, either routine or surgical hand hygiene is required. Routine hand hygiene refers to the use of soap solution and water or an alcohol-based hand rub. Surgical hand antisepsis requires the use of an approved antimicrobial skin cleanser or approved waterless hand rub formulation. If it is necessary to touch key parts or key sites directly, sterile gloves must be used to minimise the risk of contamination. If key parts or key sites are not touched directly, non-sterile gloves may be necessary to protect the clinician from blood or body fluids or exposure to toxic drugs during administration. Gloves do not replace the need for hand hygiene. Hand hygiene must be performed before and after glove use. Selection of sterile or non-sterile gloves is also dependent upon healthcare worker competency. If touching of key parts or key sites may take place, sterile gloves are required. Prior to commencing a procedure requiring aseptic technique, it is imperative the clinician determines the aseptic field required and how that field will need to be managed. The aseptic field must be managed to ensure that key parts and key sites are protected. General aseptic fields are used when key parts are easily protected by the critical microaseptic fields and non-touch technique. Critical microaseptic fields are those key parts protected by syringe caps, sheathed needles, covers or packaging. Critical aseptic fields are used when key parts or sites are large or numerous and can't be easily protected by covers or caps, or can't be handled with a non-touch technique, or invasive procedures requiring a large aseptic working area. Management of the critical aseptic field requires only sterilised equipment to be placed in the aseptic field. Sterile gloves are required to maintain asepsis. Non-touch technique is an important component of aseptic technique, even when the sterile gloves are used. Non-touch technique is a technique where clinicians' hands do not touch and thereby contaminate key parts and key sites. The safest way to protect a key part is to not touch it. Aseptic technique is required for all invasive procedures and this reduces the risk of introducing pathogenic organisms into susceptible patients uh, at susceptible sites by hands, equipment and surfaces. If you think about it, no-touch technique is a vital component of maintaining asepsis and protecting our patients from introduction of infection.